One of the upcoming assignments that you're going to have to do is to create a project website. There are a number of different options for creating a project website, everything from creating your own personal website with Dreamweaver or using a tool like a wiki, which is a website that allows you to easily edit and create and collaborate, to simpler website creation tools like Weebly. I think it behooves all of you in the class to look at wikis as your first option for a couple of reasons. One, they're very easy to create and set up. And two, a lot of teachers and classrooms are using wikis as collaborative tools to work on projects that are geographically <laughs> distant, meaning you could work with a classroom in another country using a wiki and use it as a collaborative tool. This little brief tutorial is going to show you how to create a, and set up your Wikispace wiki. If you use another tool like Google Sites, that's fine as well. But Wikispace is a, is a pretty popular wiki tool, and so I wanted to show you how. So basically, I've already created a Wikispaces account and created a wiki called EDLF5450 Willy. I'm signed in right up here, you can see. And once all of that is taken care of, then it's down to actually putting together your website. The first thing you want to do is go over to Manage Wiki and click on it. Right now, when I signed up for this account, I signed up for a private label wiki. And the private label wiki can be changed, and it should be changed if you sign up for a private label wiki. Go to Permissions. Right now, you can see this private is checkmarked. I'm going to switch over to protected. The reason why you want to do that is if you keep it in private, then only people who are a member of your wiki, that would be you, can actually see or edit content. If you move over to a protected wiki, everyone can view the pages, but only members of the wiki can edit. It's going to be important for your project website that you have it viewable to the world, but only editable by you or someone else. So I've checkmarked protected. I click update. There's a message that pops up. Read it, then click OK. So now everything has changed. To create a page, it's really very simple. You come over to the left hand side, click on new page. Title your page. I'm going to title this example. You will want to title your pages according to the project guidelines for the project website. So don't just create a page called example. You can add tags, and tags are short little labels that allow people to easily and quickly find content and pages in your website. You can choose to add tags or not. I'm going to skip that right here, and then I'm going to click Create. Now my new page is created, and notice how everything is hazed out around it. I've got a WYSIWYG editor at the top. WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. The WYSIWYG tool tools allow me to do pretty much anything. And so this is the working area. You can type text down here. You can use your WYSIWYG tools up here to edit and fine tune, whether it's bold, italicized, underlined, or changing the color. You want to make sure that you have the stuff highlighted that you want to bold or italicize or underline or change the color of. I'm going to change the color to purple. You can also add numbered lists, ordered lists, and bulleted lists, unordered lists, your horizontal rule. To create a link, you use this tool. You want to highlight the text. In this case, I want to create a link that when somebody clicks on Willy, it will actually take them out to a website. So I've highlighted it. I'm clicking on link. You have a number of link choices. A wiki link is a link within the exi existing <coughs> excuse me, existing wiki. External link would be if you want to go to a website that's outside of the wiki domain. So I'm going to take it to my personal portfolio. 
I'm going to check new window and what that means is when somebody clicks on the link it will actually open in a new tab or a new window. That's pretty important when you want people to not leave your site or have a quick and easy way to get back to your site, in this case a wiki. I'm going to click add link. Notice now it is underlined. I have this green arrow. And that indicates that this is in fact a link right here. Notice it's highlighted. A couple of other tools up here at the top. These are tools for inserting images, videos, and other stuff right here. And then you have tables, special characters, as well as the HTML code for the wiki. When you're finished, click Save. And notice now on my example page right here, I have the text Willy, and if I click on it, it will take me out to a my personal portfolio right here. We'll close the tab just to show you that it works. A couple of other things to notice at the very top of the page you have a discussion tab. This is a discussion board for this particular page example. Every page that you create in a wiki has a discussion. You've got the history tab and the history tab gives you all of the links to all the different revisions that have been made on a particular page. That's pretty nice when you want to go back and revert to previous con content or a previous version of that page. So everything is saved and shared. Whenever you hit save you'll see a new link in history. And then notify me. That is a place where you can enable email notifications or if you like RSS um, page feeds for the discussion board and revisions. I'm going to go back to the original page right here. One a couple final things. You, If you hover over or click on the little triangle next to page, you can see a whole bunch of different things that you might do with this particular page. Over in the left hand sidebar, you'll see that once I created and saved that example page, it appeared in my side navigation. If you want to edit or change the side navigation, click Edit Navigation. But for the most part, the pages that you create for your 5450 project will need to be main pages right here. So you won't have to play around with that. That, in a nutshell, is Wikispaces.